Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Whosoever hated his brother, whosoever hated his brother, is the black community filled with hate? It is filled with hate, right? Were you around, any, were any of y'all around here maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes ago, where a brother was gonna come and fight us for teaching the Bible? You was there, you saw that? And he whipped out a gun and tried to threaten us and thought we was gonna be scared and moved off the block. Is that not hatred? Those are the things that plague the black community. Why is Chicago one of the highest cities in crime rate, in murder? It's because of hatred. We hate each other. We hate our people. You got a sister right there. Why is she not scared to sell drugs or weed on a corner where any of these brothers out here can come and knock her upside her head? And she got money and weed on her. Why does she feel so comfortable to do that? That's something that's wrong right here. right but let me ask you a question when you examine this community now we know we got to keep the commandments we got to not eat pork right keeping the sabbath day and so forth and so on wearing fringes eating clean foods that's health but let me ask you this how much what's going on in the community why is this community like this what's plaguing the black community give me first john 3 and 15. drugs alcohol what else Watch this. I'm going to show you one main thing that's pl plaguing in our community. Let me ask you a question, bro. Do you abuse drugs? You don't abuse drugs? Do you abuse alcohol? You drink? Do you drink a lot? Be honest. You drink a lot. You smoke? Smoke cigarettes? Black and miles? You smoke? Do you, bru do you abuse drugs? Do you abuse alcohol? You abuse alcohol. Watch this. Read that. First John chapter 3 and verse 15. Because not eating pork, that's good things. But we got to get to the weightier matters of the law. The things that's actually going to clean and fix up the community, right? Watch this. What's your name again, bro? Henry and you Clyde, right? Watch this. Whosoever hated his brother. Whosoever hated his brother. Is the black community filled with hate? It is filled with hate, right? Were you around, any, were any of y'all around here maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes ago where a brother was going to come and fight us for teaching the Bible? You was there, you saw that? And he whipped out a gun and tried to threaten us and thought we was going to be scared and moved off the block. Is that not hatred? Those are the things that plague the black community. Why is Chicago one of the highest cities in crime rate, in murder? It it's because of hatred. We hate each other. We hate our people. You got a sister right there. Why is she not scared to sell drugs or weed on a corner where any of these brothers out here can come and knock her upside her head? And she got money and weed on her. Why does she feel so comfortable to do that? That's something that's wrong right here. That's something that's wrong right here. That's hatred according to the Bible. Those are the things that we got to fix. Yeah, we're not supposed to eat pork, right? Yeah, we got to wear fringes, right? But we got to get to the weightier things that's going to clean us up. Read that again. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. So what? Is a murderer. You want to know why God said that? Because before you murder, it starts right here. It starts with hatred. And some of us got a lot of self-hatred. You understand? For example, why do you abuse alcohol? Because you like it? Why do you like it so much? Huh? You can't stop. You, so that's excessive. You have an excessive character of alcohol. What made you begin? How long you been drinking? All your life. Like how old? Huh? No, but I'm saying when did you start? Like what age? 17 years old. What about you? Uh, 18 years old. I started very young too. I was I started younger than that, right? 
But this is the thing. A lot of us, we go through a lot of... Give me uh, Durami 2828. Let me show you a lot of reasons why we abuse drugs. I know you said you used to, right? You overcame that, right? But a lot of times we abuse... Al the reason why we abuse, dr abuse drugs and we abuse alcohol. Let me show you. These are the things that's going to clean us up. Come on, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. So God said he was going to smite us with madness. You know what madness is? What do you think it is? What do you think? Okay. You ever hear a British person say, oh man, he's gone mental. He's gone mad. What's he saying? What's he saying? He's gone crazy. Is not black people kind of crazy today? Think about it. Don't we have a lot of mental issues? You'll walk down the street, you'll see some of us talking to ourselves, cursing somebody out. Ain't nobody there. We flip out. We emotional. We want to whip a gun on a brother for reading the Bible. Isn't that not mental issues? So he said he was going to smite us with a crazy or an insane mind, right? Read on. And blindness, and astonishment of heart. An astonishment of heart, meaning an amazement of mind. That's how he's telling you it's a mental illness. Don't we lead in mental illnesses today? Don't we? But God says that's a curse. Look at the people who are even around that corner. Think about them. Look at them. Why do we sag our pants? Why do we leave? Why do we feel like it's com why do we feel comfortable to live in a, a, a garbage infested community? Isn't that something that's wrong right here? What's the saying? If your house is dirty and your car is dirty, what does that tell me about you? Something's wrong right here because that's not normal. We don't live a normal life. You abusing alcohol is not normal. You are used to abusing drugs and abusing alcohol. That's not normal. But it came from what? Breaking God's commandments and being smitten with madness. But where did it come from? Read on. And thou shalt grope at noonday uh -huh. as the blind gropeth in darkness. So noonday is when the sun is at its highest peak, right? So it should be very bright, right? But the Lord says we shall grope like this. This is groping. You're trying to find your way. But it's noonday. This right here, when have you ever seen a Bible where black men stand up for the word of God like this? When have you ever seen that before? Never. This right here is noonday. Right now, you are seeing life being shined in a dark place. Right now, you are seeing prophets coming to God's people, teaching God's commandments, how to clean yourself up. This is life, but some of our people, we ignore it. We walk around the corner and scream loud, 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 squares, squares, squares. And we don't even see it. The world is up there. We are at the brink of war. World War Three is at the brink. And what is the black man doing? He's sitting on a corner selling weed, dressed and drunk, or living his life any kind of way. That's that groping at noonday. It's plain. Brother, this world is about to end. Christ is on his way. That's what we out here for, to clean you up. Come on. And thou shalt not prosper in thy way. Are we prospering in our ways right now? Where do we live? In the ghettos, right? We in the hood, right? Don't that, is that what black people feel? The hoods of Woodlawn, Inglewood, okay? South Shore. Aren't we all the west side of Chicago, K-Town? Aren't we filled in those places? God said we shall not prosper in our ways. Come on. And thou shalt be only oppressed. Shall be what? Oppressed and spoiled evermore. Oppressed and robbed evermore. Oppressed and robbed evermore. So now he's giving you the source of your madness because of the conditions you've been placed in. You understand that? It's your conditions. Think about it. You wake up to this every single day. This is hard. Do you know this right here chips at your mind little by little? And it's unnoticeable. We wake up into a drug infested neighborhood. We wake up to crackheads all the time, or drunkards all the time, trash infested everywhere, needles somewhere in the bush, somebody falling and laying out. What do you think that does to a, a psyche? That's where the madness is coming from. An oppressed condition, and a robbed condition. They give you the lowest wages, but they charge you the highest prices in order to live. This right here is the hood, but it's expensive. Right? What did the Bible say? And be, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. And no man shall save thee. And no man shall what? And no man shall save thee. Didn't Martin Luther King try to save us? Didn't Marcus Garvey try to save us? Didn't Malcolm X try to save us? 
What did the Bible say again? And no man shall save thee. The Bible is a true book, but the only there is only one Savior. One Savior, and who do you think it is? The man of God, Christ, the black Messiah. That's what we out here for. We're trying to show life into your mind. We out here to speak life into your spirit. You understand? Right now, light is being shined in a dark place. And I need you brothers to recognize that and acknowledge that. Come and repent. Okay? Give me that in, uh, is it Luke? I think it's Luke chapter 14 and 23. I think that's it. Compel them to come in. Get that. The book of Luke, chapter 14 and verse 23. I'm glad you stayed right here, Clyde, because this is important. Watch this. And the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges. That's where we at. We are at a hedge of a community right here where a lot of our people are at. We are the servants of God. He commanded us to go out into the highways and hedges and do what? And compel them to come in. Come join us, brother. Come join us, Henry. Come join us, Clyde. Clean yourself up. We will teach you how to get off of alcohol. Do you want to continue abusing alcohol? You don't want to do that. What about you? Do you want to do that? How is your living condition? You got an apartment, but how is it? Where is it at? I mean, you don't got to tell me your address or nothing, but right down the street. Don't you want to live in and get up out of this mess right here? This is no way to live. Come and join us. Get on this side. We will teach you how to clean yourself up. Become presentable. Get good work. How to clean your mind. How to stop abusing alcohol. It's all right here. It's all right here. Read that again. Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. Christ is looking for his house to be filled before he destroys this place. Why? Because of what they did to our people, to his people, to you, to you, to all of them right there. He's going to destroy this. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.